2013, the plaintiff suffered prolonged menses and went for consultation with Dr. Tang Bundi, a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist which also worked at the Second Defendant's Medical Center. Upon consultation, Dr. Tan conducted laparoscopic myomectomy towards the plaintiff on 11th May 2013 to extract sample tissue for the examination. The sample tissue then were sent out to the second defendant's medical center laboratory for examination. At the examination lab, the first defendant, Dr. Joshua, examined the sample and diagnosed it as a benign. Two years later, the plaintiff Dr. Tay was injured while cycling and suffered broken ribs. She then underwent ultrasound to detect any internal bleeding or internal organ injury. During the process, it found out that she had a 9cm mass suspected to be ovarian mass. Upon discovery on 10th June 2015, Dr. Tang conducted another laparoscopic procedure to remove the vascular tumor from the uterus together with other tissues and was sent to the second defendant medical center. Dr. Parmanadan is in charge for his pathological examination and the tissue were confirmed to be endometrial trauma sarcoma that is uterus cancer. Yes, 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 yes. Come here. 
come in. Uh, miss, your client has arrived after three minutes. Okay, give me two minutes. Judy for coming to our second appointment. So before this, um, you already stated about your what do you want to claim? Ah yes. So I have listed all of this, so you can do the first. Okay. Yes. You agree? Okay. Um, first is travel expense. Travel expense. Uh, yes. And then this is the second is hospital dan rawatan perubatan RM96,000 uh, and there is cost therapy pemulihan RM70,000 um, and um, so is cost kehilangan pendapatan uh, from August uh, 2015 to December 2016 RM935,000 uh, yeah. and lastly kos sara hidup tambahan yang timbul dari keretakan perkahwinan RM45,000 uh, okay. So do you agree with all the things yeah, that I have listed? Yes, I agree with it Okay, so um, I think this is all and don't you worry, I will help you and I will fight for your right Thank you, Miss. Let's hope for the next. Okay, thank you. So, um, yes. Yeah. Um, um, okay, okay, um, you don't have to worry anything. I will set everything and I will look at it more. Okay. So, I will find solution for you to get all the things that you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. I hope that you can. Of course. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. uh, let's meet at our next appointment. Alright. Hello, Charles. Ini adalah memberikan hujah anda. Dengan ini, saya memanggil Dr. Pamanata untuk tampil ke hadapan. Uh, yang Arif, izinkan saya mengajukan beberapa soalan. Yes, Masih. Um, Doktor Pemanasan Yes uh, Adakah benar di pada satu tidak melakukan ujian imunostik? Dalam posisi di pada satu Dia boleh membuat ujian imunostik dan perlu melakukan Terima kasih kepada Doktor Pemanasan Atas keterangan yang diberikan Seterusnya saya ingin memanggil defendant kedua Iaitu pemilik Sandra B. Hospital Untuk tampil ke hadapan Uh, yang Arif izinkan saya untuk mengemukakan soalan kepada defendant kedua Ya, maka apa boleh datang uh, Defendant kedua Adakah benar defendant pertama tidak boleh menolak ujian sel tisu jika tidak menepati kerja uh, Boleh tolak dan defendant satu perlu, memaklum, perlu meminta uh, doktor rujukan untuk memaklumkan perihal ini atau melaporkan ketidakpuasan hati kepada doktor rujukan. Okey, uh, terima kasih. Terima kasih kepada defendant kedua yang Arif saya tidak punya soalan lagi. Uh, yang Arif, dengan ini saya ingin mengemukakan lima perkara yang dituntut oleh anak buah mak saya. Yaitu beliau ingin menuntut yang pertama, perbelanjaan perjalanan sebanyak 6900. Yang kedua, kos hospital dan rawatan perubatan sebanyak 96000. Dan yang ketiga adalah kos terapi pemulihan sebanyak RM70,000 Kos kehilangan pendapatan dari Ogos 2015 hingga Disember 2016 yang bernilai sebanyak RM935,000 Dan yang terakhir sekali kos tarif hidup tambahan yang timbul dari keretakan perkahwinan iaitu sebanyak RM40,000 Dari anak buah saya Uh, itu saja daripada saya. Terima kasih. Setelah mendengar hujahan daripada kedua belah pihak, maka pihak mahkamah memutuskan 
Pampasan sebanyak RM96,000 untuk kos perubatan RM900 bulanan rawatan hormon RM2,000 perbiayaan CT scan tahunan RM30,000 kos pembedahan masa hadapan RM5,000 kos kemoterapi RM2,000 maaf RM200,000 pampasan penderitaan dan RM120,000 untuk kos kehilangan pendapatan dari Ogos 2015 hingga Disember 2016. Dengan ini, mahkamah bubar.